Wait a minute. She's about to do an interview? Yeah. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. We about to, we about to, we about to get, we about to, we about to do this right quick. Well, actually, is it's ambush interview? Huh? That's that's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a. I can't do it. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. <laughs> Fuck it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it, and we'll do it live. And thing sucks. Five, four, three. All right, all right. I am back again. It just don't stop. This train is still rolling. This train is still rolling. That's how I do. You know what I'm saying? You guys in the LOM community, in the live feed, y'all get to see all the behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? So this is how I do the interviews and all like that. And then once I take it, chop it, and re-upload it, it will be looking a little bit more settled than what it looks now. But I thought I'd get uh I, I thought I'd do um, a quick follow-up to this young lady. This young lady came on uh came on the podcast in the beginning when I was fresh starting out. And she just left uh, Martin. Yeah, that was that that was a hell of an interview right there, man. She just left Martin. Now, several months later, she stepped out of trucking for a little bit and um, came back into trucking. Hold on, there we go, there we go. She came back into trucking, and uh, now she's about to. She's about to step out of trucking again. We need to know what's going on. Welcome to the show, Dow Face Trucker. <laughs> Dow hey. Face Trucker. What's up? What's up? What's, what's up? What's up? Now you know. I, now you know. I'm a fan of your uh, of your channel. I always. Uh, I always chime in when you uh, when you uh, when you come on your live feed and everything. Uh, within a couple of live feeds, you 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 had some it, you you had some drama that was going on uh, family wise, um, <laughs> and and it 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 pulled out to be all right, you know, with the grace of God and everything. Uh, why don't you let the uh, why don't you let the community know and 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 uh, the viewers and the listeners know what you've been up to? What, what you what you've been up to? Well, um, now I'm a grandma. That's the biggest change in my life right now. Grandma, how does my daughter? How does that was, feel? It, um, I don't really feel anything different. Like now, I'm I'm a, I'm on the truck, so I really I'm not at home. Mm -hmm. But it's it's weird because having to explain to her how to do certain things with the baby. Like just now, I was on video chat with her talking about when you're sleeping at night, try to lay the baby kind of like flash on her side on her back, right. not just fully on her back, right? Because if she spit up during the night, she doesn't choke her spit yeah, up. Yeah, she choke. And it's just little stuff like that. Like man, she's. Like my baby, I'm telling my baby how to take care of her baby. Like okay. that's my firstborn who had the baby, so okay. she had twins. So she one got... of them passed away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it that. Was, it was it was crazy. That was that was a crazy day. We didn't go in thinking she was even gonna have babies that day. We thought it was a routine procedure, and we ended up with a a born baby and a dead baby. Aww. That was crazy. I am I am so sorry to hear that, man. That's that is so sad. Yeah. You, you, it um. It is. It was. When, I'm over it, though. I'm, what, I'm trying to get better. Was you, was you on a truck uh, at the time when your, when your daughter got pregnant? No. Well, um, when she got pregnant, yes. I was on a truck. How, how was that conversation? I mean, you, you over here driving, <laughs> you over here driving, bump, bumping up and down the interstate. And all of a sudden you get that phone call and. What what was that conversation like? Um, 
she was nonchalant about it, actually. She was like, uh, I got to tell you something. I'm like, what? And I knew she was going to tell me she was pregnant. Like, my mom knew. When I told my mom I was pregnant, I knew my daughter was pregnant when she told me. And it was weird because before the conversation we had, we were talking. I was I was craving foods, and I was super sleepy, and I was nauseous. This is, like, what wait, the fuck wait, is wrong with me? Wait, this, this, is the, this is the daughter talking to you? Like... No, this is me saying, telling, like, just having, before we had the conversation, I'm experiencing okay. these symptoms. I think I was talking to somebody about it. I'm like, I'm so nauseous. Right. I'm not understanding why. I know during certain times of the month why I'm nauseous, but this time I couldn't understand. Or craving certain things or just being really fucking tired. Okay. And I called my daughter and we were having a conversation. And I was like, I'm so sleepy. I got to pull over and take a nap. Like, right. I can't handle it. I'm too tired. Right. And probably like two days later, she calls me and she's like, Ma, I got to tell you something. Mm-hmm. When she says, Ma, I got to tell you something, I'm like, because usually she's like, I got to tell you something. But she was like, Ma, I got to tell you something. I'm like, what? She's like, I'm pregnant. I'm like, get out of here. You're not fucking pregnant. She's like, I'm pregnant. I'm like, how do you know you're pregnant? <laughs> how do you know you're pregnant? Like, duh, how do you think I know? She took like three pregnancy tests. And the next thing I asked was, whose is it? Because I needed to know. Like, when did this happen? How did this go down? You got pregnant where? I hope it wasn't in my house. And with who? But, um, yeah. <laughs> where <laughs> she, and with? She gave me all the information. <laughs> so is the is the father still in the picture with her or yes oh, yeah okay. he's actually at her house now oh. she got her own apartment okay 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 and he's there they're, they're co-parenting baby okay okay and she works from home so he has to be there to help her while she's at work or whatever okay okay that's what's up that's what's she up. got a nice little setup that's the yeah he. He, the baby looks just like him, but when she sleeps, when the baby sleeps, she looks like my daughter. Aww. And she's like the most adorable thing ever. Like, she's so fucking cute. It's ridiculous. Somebody said on my YouTube page, she looks like a little doll face. Aww. I'm like, hey, okay. That's what's up. That. That's what's little up. Little doll face. So, doll face, um, you, after we spoke uh, some time ago, you 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 just left Martin because of uh, all that all that issues that was going on. Uh, ever since then, you you got back. You you took some time off during that time period that you took yeah. off. What what have you what what have you done in that little time period while you was while you was getting yourself reactivated? Well, I basically just started working at Amazon because I I wanted to be at home. Originally, my goal was to get off the truck in like February or March. Mm -hmm. So when Martin fired me in January, it was ahead of time before I was ready to get off the truck. So I had to hurry up and find a job real quick. And I decided to go work at Amazon as a delivery driver. Okay. So you, so they paid. So you drove, so you actually drove those little, uh, Amazon, the little van, the little yeah. Amazon vans. Yeah. All right. So what was at first? I did Uber and Lyft. I mean, I did Lyft, and then and then I did Amazon and Lyft, and then I just did Amazon. All right. So what what was uh how was it like driving uh doing? Well, I, I'm a you know being you know being a truck driver is is essentially a, a delivery driver, but what was what was the uh transition like like you you jumped from driving an 18 wheeler delivering stuff to driving the to driving the little amazon van delivering stuff what, what i'm i'm sure that was a culture I shock felt it, yeah well i felt like not really i think the most of it was I, the trucking spoils you for sure. Mm-hmm. I was spoiled. Trucking has spoiled me. And when I started driving Amazon, like you have to load your van with packages and then you, you get your route and then you're going on this route, delivering these packages. So you got to jump out, run to the house, deliver the package, take a picture, get back in the van, next house, do the same thing over and over again. And two things that I noticed that I did, I, I did not like immediately or three things. I didn't like, the jumping out and running part. I think I did the pedometer app on my phone. I think I did like probably five miles a day. 
Wow. Okay. As far as my pedometer, my pedometer was saying. Okay. I yes. lost weight, which was good. Um, but I just I didn't like that because I, it was so hot and humid in in Houston, and then you're sweating and you've got to constantly be outside, and it's just and then like the weather, like it would rain if it rains, it's like somebody pours a gallon of water, a bucket of water on you. It ain't re- raindrops; it's like just pouring out the sky. And I didn't like that. I, it just wasn't for me. I'm not used to that. Then some of the packages are heavy and my wrist started hurting. I have carpal tunnel. Mm-hmm. My wrist started hurting and it was just, I just didn't like it. I didn't have time. I'll be so tired when I get off of work. I didn't want to interact with my family because I was just too tired. I got so spoiled from trucking. And then the pay, the pay was okay. But if I needed money in the middle of the week, I couldn't get an advance. You know what I'm saying? Like how we can in trucking. So I was just like, I'm just not used to this. And then I started getting behind because I worked four days on, three days off. If you miss one of those four days, your check is nothing, basically. If you only get three days and out of that four, you don't really have. And how, it was like a three or four hundred dollar check. How much how much it was giving you an hour to 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 run deliveries? I heard it was sixteen dollars. It was fifteen fifty an hour. Oh, OK. So it's fifteen fifty an hour. And then the um, essential pay because of coronavirus they added an extra two dollars. Okay, so you was making seventeen dollars an so hour. So you work four days a week. Yeah, you was get that, about forty hours a week. Sometimes forty five. Okay, so it would, within that four with, within that four days a week, you still so you was doing ten hour days then, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and that was ten hour days. That was full time for you, right? It was, yeah. So driving for Amazon. I wake up at like 9 o'clock uh-huh. and get home by like 10 at night. Wow. So driving for Amazon, so driving the little vans for Amazon, how did you come across, uh, how did you come across uh, to do the, you know, to do that? You you call Amazon directly? I was already or? thinking about it when I was on the truck. Um, No, actually, I, I was doing Lyft and I saw Amazon van. And I stopped him, and I, he was at getting gas. I'm like, where's y'all offices at? I don't want to buy. He was like, right over there. And he pointed across the street, and I saw all the Amazon vans. Mm-hmm. So I I'm, <laughs> I got on some sweats and some flip-flops. So I walk in the doors, and I'm like, um, who, who do I talk to to apply for driving position? Mm-hmm. And he was like, I'm actually the owner. I'm like, oh, great. I got on flip-flops, so I'm talking to the owner. owner? Wait, wait, wait. So wait. I was owner? like, please don't judge me. Is this, yeah. is this like a third party? So the, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, it's like a contractor. So oh. it's just like um, like when you have a truck, like you own your own truck and you lease with the company. Oh, so they own their own fleet and they lease. They they work under Amazon. Oh, okay, okay. But they had to they had to color their vans and put Amazon markings on their vans. Yeah, I think Amazon gives them a certain amount of vans, and then they have to rent. Other van. Oh, okay. Something like I think, something I like think what Amazon AAA like used to. Something like that. what AAA does. AAA does the same thing. They they will rent out. Uh, they they will rent out or lease out their you know their little AAA trucks and all like that. And it'll just be a owner, a LLC. And then me that used to be you know I used to drive mm-hmm. you know for a person that did uh triple a okay okay that's what i was like third party all right uh christopher yeah says christopher says that he's at fedex now i know that hell amazon could go crap in the hat i'm not doing none of them micromanaging companies no more so they so they so driving for amazon the little vans you you was micromanaging as well as well mm-hmm I don't, no, no. They didn't even bother us. We we didn't have the only thing we had to do at the end of our shift it was contact management at the end of our shift, just in case somebody else needed help and we had to go rescue them to help them deliver their packages. But it's that and that aspect of just driving and working throughout the day, we wasn't bothered by anybody. Okay. Um. Now, if you're at the warehouse, though, Amazon is like with a fine tooth comb. You they got their P's and Q's all lined up like. They tease across the eyes are dotted. You can't fuck up at Amazon, the, the yeah. actual warehouse. Yeah. But yeah, I worked they, for the contractor, and they were cool. 
they were cool people. Yeah, they warehouse. And, they, you know, I heard that like <laughs> the warehouse is like Beirut. The people who over worked there. at um, FedEx and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. The people who worked at FedEx that I spoke to, like my friend worked at FedEx and UPS. I'm gonna have another friend work at UPS. They're like, shit, we're coming over there to, to Amazon because apparently, like, they have it's harder at FedEx and UPS. Okay. It was like, if you don't like Amazon, you definitely won't like FedEx and UPS. So I don't know. <laughs> so it's just on, I guess. All right. So you did So you did a little stint with uh, with Amazon and you decided to get back into the truck. Um, are, you, mm-hmm. are, are you, are you, since you got back into the truck, are you with the same company now or... Or was it was it a different company along the way until up to the decision that you that you made about your trucking career? I don't understand. Uh, I guess like when, when you I got, first started, when you got back, when I got back, when you got back in the truck, or what you, did you? When you got back in the truck, was you the company that you got back with? Is the company that you're leaving? Am I still yeah. with them? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yes. The company I'm with now, um, it was the only company that would hire me because I, ha- I found it hard to find a job after my- Martin fired me. Mm-hmm. A lot of companies are like, oh, you got fired from a major carrier. We can't hire you. A lot of companies are like, they're just not going to proceed with my application. They didn't tell me why, but I already knew why. Okay. So it was out of this company and U.S. Express. No, was it U.S. Heartland Express mm-hmm. and Summit Trucking. Those are the three companies. Summit Trucking was definitely on board. They wanted to hire me. I wanted to go with them so bad. I really wanted to. They pay like 50 cents an hour. They have APUs, refrigerators, um, new trucks. I wanted to go with them, but I needed 24 months experience. And at the time that I was talking to them, I had only 22 months experience. Okay. Even though I had my CDL for longer than that. Then um, Heartland Express, they... They wanted me to drive a manual. I wasn't going to do that. So I told them I put them on, I put them in the parking lot, and if I need to, I'll come back to them. And I ended up with this company, which I'm not going to disclose because right. you know how that went last right. time. Right, 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 right. But right, um, right. this company pretty much hires everybody. <laughs> They're really laid back. Um, I remember one time I was sitting for so long and. By the time everything was said and done, I caught my DM that Monday. I was sitting that whole weekend. And I said, if I would have drove to Houston, you guys would have never known. I was in, where was I at? Somewhere Midwest. And I was like, if I would have drove to Houston, y'all would have never known. He was like, probably not. Because they're just not on top of their stuff. This company pays well, but the equipment sucks. Every trailer I get, there's always something wrong with it. Um, if you don't get a good DM, then you're going to have some issues. Overnight and weekend dispatch is non-existent. They answer the phone, but they're completely useless. At least with other companies, you can still get some kind of use out of them that can still help you a little bit. But here, I mean, they, if you're not their their fleet, they don't care about you. They would they will not call you. They will not check on you. They don't care about your load if it's going to be on time or not. None of that. Like literally, overnight, overnight and weekend, you just I can pretty much do whatever I want. If I want to joy ride this truck and make U-turners all day long, they don't care. They go see it. They don't care. So if you um, can do, if you can do all of that, if you can do all of that dial face, why, why, why turn in the keys? Um, it's a mixture of a lot of personal stuff. Um, I got back on the truck only because I fell behind financially because of coronavirus. When I was working at Amazon, they cut my hours. Um, I was getting probably three days a week. I needed four days a week. And four days a week was pushing it. Four days a week was barely getting me by. So if I missed a day, because at four days a week, I'm getting a check about $500, five dollars $600. If I miss a day, my checks are three and $400 a week. I can't live off of that. And so I started getting behind. And then... Um, I was like, I need to catch up. I need to catch up. So that's why I got back on the truck. I didn't I didn't get back on the truck because I was going to make this a career again. I got back on so I could catch up. Okay. It wasn't ever meant for me to stay on the truck for a year or two years, none of that. It was literally just to catch up. All right. Cool. So I could catch up. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I moved into a cheaper apartment so I can have, I'm trying to reduce my bills 
and then by reducing my bills and making more money, I'm hoping I can get ahead. Okay. And once I get ahead, I'm getting off the truck. Okay. That's... And then this is definitely the company right here. I get good miles. I make m- good money when I don't have any problem with the equipment. And I'm having way too many problems with the equipment. When I got in this truck, my ECM went out. Um, I had a whole bunch of blowouts. Uh, can't find trailers because they don't have a lot of they don't have a lot of drop yards and terminals. So I'm sitting, and then the overnight dispatch is just sitting and waiting. Like I'm sitting now. I, I shut down yesterday at 5:45. My load doesn't deliver, and it was seven hours away. My load doesn't deliver until six o'clock tonight. I'm just sitting. Uh, <laughs> there, um. Uh, uh, Christopher, Christopher uh, chimed in. He says he missed. Uh, he missed it. He said, "Why did you get fired from Martin? You don't have to." Go- I got fired from Martin because somebody reported my YouTube video and and lied on me, basically. Yeah, they, yeah. We just doing the. And Martin fired me, saying that I I broke company policy. <laughs> yeah, we we just doing uh we just doing the cliff notes on uh on Martin. Uh, right. <laughs> That's what I tell everybody. I just got lied on. Yeah. Some, a hater lied on me, basically. Uh, Wise Al wants to know. He says, um, "Why she won't tell us the company? Why she won't tell us the company she's about to leave anyway? Uh, because she's still with the company." Um, I'll tell you after I leave. <laughs> yeah, she's still with she's still with the company. Um, uh, Wise Al, that's why. Um, you know, she she haven't turned in her keys yet. She's she's going to turn in her keys, but you know, but not yet. This is just you know, this is just like a follow up to come up to, you know, up to right now where where she's at. Um. So yeah, so now that you decided to uh, turn in, you know, turn into your turn in your keys soon. Um, are you making is there going to be plans for you to get back into the truck? Because, you know, every time I come on your live feed, you always talking about <laughs> your, uh, you know, your schooling, your, your law school ambitions. So are, are you almost done? Yeah. Are you almost done with that to get back, to get back into that field or, or you, you want to try I'm not- trucking until you get into that field or you just pretty much want to just leave trucking alone? Well, the reason why I want to get off the truck is because I have my kids at home. And last year, I was on the truck while they were in school. The year before that, you know, we were in limbo. Remember, I was living on the truck for six months. My daughter wasn't even in school. My kids, my my other daughter was in Vegas with her mom doing online school. My boys were in California with their dad. Mm-hmm. So it was just me and Trinity on the truck for six months. And she didn't go to school that whole year. And then the next year, she's in school. Jaden came to Houston. He's in school, but I was on the truck. And it didn't go well. It didn't go well at all. So um, I don't want to be on the truck while they're in school this year again. I don't want to be in a truck at all at any time in the future while they're in school. So the best bet for me and my children and my family is to get off the truck while they're in school. It could be I could come back during the summertime or whatever. I don't know. But um, my goal is to to be at home with them, to find a job where I can make enough money, be at home with them, and pay my bills and have enough time to study. Because as of right now, I don't have enough time to study for the LSAT, which is the law school admissions test. And that's the the test that I need to get into law school, to get scholarships to pay for law school. So um, that's where I'm at with that. I got a call from a school district in Texas because I applied for a bus driver position. Okay. Which gives me exactly what I need. I get guaranteed hours per week. Then you, I work you while they're in work school. You, I'm home where they're home. And then you you go you pick them up in the morning, go home. Then you just pick them up again to drop them off, and then you back at home. Bus driver work is school bus driver work. And I can work. study. That gives me enough studying. School bus driver work is so easy. <laughs> and you still get <laughs> and you still get paid, man. Uh, back to your daughter. You get all your hours, yeah. Back, back to your daughter. How, how many kids you got? I mean, you, you mentioned in, you know, you stay in school. I have four. So you got four kids. So what, three of them is in school? Actually, two of them are, well, yeah, three of them are in school. My, my oldest 
graduated, and my second oldest is her senior year this year. Okay, okay. Now, your oldest is the one that has the baby, right? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. And plus, you want to yeah. get back home to, 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 to be a grandma. You know what I'm saying? Christopher Robbins says... I don't want to get back home to be a grandma. <laughs> Christopher Robbins says, trucking, ooh, a major carrier can do that. They can put stipulations on your YouTube videos. I heard Prime might do that. I know JB Hunt does that. Uh, I'm, you know, I I always say that Prime has the book of YouTube. I always say that because it's like everybody and their mama comes out with a YouTube page when they when when they work for Prime. Every new driver that goes in to work for Prime has a but YouTube. But Prime does page. things so different than everybody else too, though. Right. You know, it's, they're so, to me, they're really complicated. And I think people want to document it, like document all their procedures and how they do things. Kind of like how Junior Honduras did it. He's the one who paved the way. And since you can see everything that they do, I think other drivers want to chime in on how things are done too, in their way, on their truck. I mean, it, it makes for good TV because they, they do things differently. <laughs> but I can understand why they have a, a book of policy. But Martin, I actually, before I got fired, when I found out what the referral fee, because I referred somebody and I got paid for it, and I'm like, oh shit, this is some good money. So I, I emailed my this I emailed my dispatch and my um, recruiter and I asked them, can I do YouTube videos? Can I re recruit for Martin? What can I say? What can't I say? Give me some tips. Um, give me. I asked them to give me um, specifically um, talking points so I can do it the right way and I won't get in trouble. And they emailed me back and gave me that. So to me, that was my okay to do YouTube videos and include Martin in it. So when somebody reported me for breaking company policy, I could have fought it because I got the okay to do it. Maybe it may not have been from the right person, but I got the okay to do it. You know, but I didn't want to fight it. You know, I, like, okay. I you know, like I said, I, 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 I promoted uh, companies back in the past. Uh, I even got paid for promoting uh, companies back in the past, but now I don't. I, I don't. That's that's why I don't even. That's why I don't even mention. That's why I don't even mention the company that I drive for because I'm not promoting it. I'm not getting paid for it. You know what I'm saying, and that's why I kind of wonder to it's my. It's stupid that they don't allow us to do that, right? To, but I kind of, I kind of wonder to myself, like I know, want... I know Junior. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, if you if you want people to if you were paying so much money for people to come to your company, that means you want you need people in your company because the incentive is so high for somebody to get recruited to your company. You pay drivers a lot of money for them to come. Well, we're not just talking. We're only at truck stops. It's not like we're at trucking schools. It's not like we're at colleges recruiting people. The only way we can recruit people is through social media, through online. So why is there stipulations on what we can and can't do on YouTube? If that's the only option that we have to recruit people, because I'm driving, I'm on the road. All the other people I see are people who I'm driving with. You know what I'm saying? Like other truckers. So they need to re they need to rethink the culture, the the social media culture, and as far as the company policies, because well, they, it's a lot more beneficial and productive if we can use YouTube to recruit people. Well, they they the company itself does. The company itself, the companies that that use social media does they they use facebook twitter uh youtube they do but they probably they don't want to hear it coming they from the company they, probably, they want to hear it coming from a driver they probably might want they probably might not want the driver to do it because the driver could give his honest opinion about the company you know that's what we need out here I mean, we need that. I mean, that's the, I want to do what they, when I get off the truck. I want to do something of. like what you do. Yeah, that's that's what they're afraid well, that, of. I want to expose all that shit. Right. That's that's. I want to expose all of that. That's what they're afraid of. Dude, how you? They need come? that though. Gonna... Do you need to oh, oh, really, bro? You need to you need to see the open and honest stuff about Trump companies because it's not people's lives are like people are leaving their families to get on these roads and drive for these companies. I want to know if I'm wasting my time or not before I get on the com on the road. Because what if you go to a company that's not even in your home state? Like my company is in Arkansas. So if I go to Arkansas, West Memphis, and 
to pick up my truck and then I get off the truck, I'm going to have to go back to West Memphis. How am I going to get home to you? Exactly. I want I need to know if you're a good company before I make that decision because I don't want to waste my time and get stranded somewhere and I ain't going to be able to get home. Exactly. We need to know what the real is. But what like, real but is like I said, you know, companies that, you know, they frown upon, uh, you know, maybe maybe drivers of the past still giving their companies uh, uh, a bad rep or whatever. But as far as I go, like I said, if I'm not getting paid and that's and that's what I want to point on. I want to touch on that for a little uh, for a minute. You got all these drivers over here talking about the companies, putting their companies in their YouTube videos, yada, yada, yada. You know, U.S. Express is this. uh USA Truck, uh, Prime, all, especially Prime, 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 Prime. But none of y'all ain't getting paid. Like, y'all getting well, we get paid for my YouTube videos. No, 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 no. You, no, you not getting paid from the company to mention the company. It's like, it's like when you get it. Right. It's like when you get a sponsorship or something like that. A sponsorship right. pays you to mention their company, you know what I'm saying, or mention their products, mm -hmm. or mention you know product placement. Like when I get calls, I get calls all the time. Like yo, lockout, you yo your channel's awesome. I I would like for you to you know they they throw me shit. Like you know they send me shit, and I be like, oh okay, well. Mm -hmm. I, this is this ain't conducive to what you know my you know what I'm about, so I'm not gonna I'm gonna do that. Same thing with companies. Mm -hmm. You know, if if everybody that works at Prime, that you know that 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 works at Prime, they 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 mention in Prime because they can get the referrals. If you like this video, put my name in the put my name on the driver application. Bump all that. Go to Prime. Right. Go to Prime. Go to their HR or their their PR department and be like, "Look, you know, I'm mentioning Prime." See if you do that, though. But I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, but if you do that, then now it opens up. It opens up. It opens up like you got to say what they want you to say, and now you got to do the channel how they want you to do it. You don't have that freedom to do it how you want to. Well, do you it. know that's why you. That's why you. To, that's to why you put. Company, wait, wait, wait. That's why you put in the. That's why you put in the paperwork. You let them know that. This is my channel, and it has to be done my way. The same way that I've been doing it by yeah, mentioning. But advertisers ain't yeah. they don't do it like that. Well, no, adver no advertise. Well, no advertisers does that. You know what I'm saying? I get, like I said, I get emails all the time. Advertisers do that. I mean, does that? You know, if they want, you know, if they know that you're not gonna that you're not gonna change your personality or nothing like that, you know. Then they can either say yeah or nay. I think for me, the reason why I promoted on my videos, if you go back and look at the history of my videos, the most views I get are from videos that mention a company's name in the title, or videos that I'm saying it's a negative title, like this was the worst day ever, or I quit, or I'm cleaning out my truck, or night transportation, blah blah blah. That's when I get the most views, and when I was getting those views, I was making good money on YouTube. And yeah, then but, I'll that's, get referrals but that's from but people. that's YouTube money. That's that's different. That's YouTube money. You getting you you getting your money from YouTube. That's YouTube money. I'm talking about money from the company, not not the company. not yet yeah, from the company, not not uh not YouTube, not YouTube. It would be nice if they could do that. Right, that's they, what they I'm saying. That. That's what I'm saying. It has to come from the company. That's why I'm not promoting no companies until they, you know, my company know I have a YouTube page. They know that my YouTube page is popular. They know that I'm in the top 50 YouTubers to watch. They know that I um they know that I make the call videos and all like that. If they want me to mention their company, but you know what some companies if they want me to mention their company, ahead, in, yeah. If they want me to mention my company in my videos from now on, they're gonna have to pay me separate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, yeah. I will still well, get the. I will still get the referral. 
You know, because that's what they like. Oh, okay, well, you got a YouTube page and all like that. Here, mention mention US Express a few times and all like that. And and you'll get the referral bonus. Pump all that. I don't want the referral bonus. You wanna know what though? I think I think a lot of I think a lot of YouTubers to get them to get their channel up and going, to get the subscribers and the viewers. Yeah, they do it that to yeah, get monetized. They do it that I way. I think that's what they need to do. Yeah. Cause that's what I did. Well, I, I didn't do it to get monetized. So I really just wanted a reason why I even started YouTube was because I'm a female driver. And at the time when I started YouTube, it was just me, Miss Diva Trucker, and Sunshine Diva. Those are the only three women YouTubers. That's why I started it. Cause I'm like, there's not enough women out here. And then afterwards, all the women came. But that's the reason why I started it. Cause I'm like, there's not enough women representing trucking. There's not, not a lot of women like me. Sunshine didn't do videos all the time. Miss Diva Trucker owns her own stuff, and she's doing her own thing. I'm just a company driver, and I'm a female, and I'm girly. I need to do a channel because there's not a lot of girls like me that's doing trucking, and I want to show them you could do it, and this is now, and this is why I'm doing it. So now here we are with everybody doing it now. Like, ah, I can't even count how many female truckers we got doing YouTube now. Uh, you got competition like a mother. You got you, 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 you got a. I love them all. You got a lot. You got a gang of them. You you got a gang of them. Mm-hmm. But they doing yep. but they doing YouTube just to they doing YouTube for their journey for their they doing YouTube for their journey and everything. But like I said, me that's just that's just yeah, my I feel like I can't even do that's that. That's just my own opinion. I mean that that and that's how I feel now. Like if my company that I'm rocking out with, you know, they want to pull me to the side and say, hey, lock out. You know, we want you to start mentioning the company. You know, get it out there. Yeah, Chicago BBW, that's dial face. Um, they want to come out there. They want to, you know, they want me to, you know, get the company out there. They're going to have to pay me. They're they going to have to give me a separate contract. Yeah. And, you know, they're going to have to give me a separate contract. And and I'll promote, I'll mention the name. I'll, I'll put it all over my. But I'll then you also got to put in that contract that you are not going to fire me <laughs> based on what I might do or say well, in my nah, video. That, that's what I'm saying. I'll that's what it's all about. Things, that's what I'm saying. It's all about, about it's all about negotiation. It's it about me. negotiation and getting that contract. Mm-hmm. All right, Dow Face. Well, hey. That's what I hate. That's why my channel. Oh, go ahead. What'd you say? I was just going to say that's why my channel is, is like dumbed down to what it is now because I got so many haters that just don't want me to drive and they'll look for anything to try to get me fired. So really, I don't really have content. I just get on there and talk now because it's not really anything I can do. I'm, I'm the haters are just too much. Well, you know, they don't you, want me you to know, they say you're not, they say you're not somebody until you have haters. So, you know what I'm saying? So right. just, uh, just, just keep, just keep doing what you're doing. Dial face. I, I appreciate you coming on. You know, getting us Thank getting you. us followed up to uh, what's going on with you and all like that. Congratulations to you being a being a grandmother. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations! Man. Thank you. <laughs> congratulations to you uh, being a grandmother and everything. Uh, what uh, what uh, other than other than jump jumping back into the uh, law thing? What else you got coming up? Uh, what, what else you got planned? What, what's your plans now since you getting out of the truck? I'm trying to find a husband. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find a husband, man. Oh. I I want I want somebody in my life. I need to start that next chapter. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. Maybe we could do some type of um, some type of a, a dating thing or whatever. You can hook me up with somebody. Hook up golfing. Uh, we'll, we'll, if you I want, if you, right if you want me to do that, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll help you. I, I'll help you if you want to do that. That'd bring, be fun. Bring on, uh, bring on. But you know, YouTube brings a lot of weirdos, though. You know what I'm saying? We're, YouTube brings a lot of weirdos. Yeah, that's so true. you, you, you that is we'll, we'll figure, we'll, we'll figure out something, man. We'll figure out something, man. All right, dial face. Put an ad out in the paper, man. You know, right? <laughs> e harmony and all that shit. <laughs> Look right. <laughs> you know. All right, dial face. Well, you take it easy. I appreciate you stopping back on. Uh, dial face is a friend of the 
show. And if you guys want to come on and chop it up with Lockout Men, you can do that. You can hit me up in the Gmail. That's LockoutMenPodcast at gmail.com. If you want to come back on and uh, do a follow-up with me, you can do that too. You know, hit me up over at Instagram. I am up to close to 500 people that's following me on Instagram. I'm telling you, I feel Instagram. I fucks with Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Instagram should go ahead and make they make they own YouTube shit. I'm just saying. All right. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more. All right. While somebody is playing me out, because it's gonna be different on the on the cut up. While somebody playing me out, I want to say this. I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I really do appreciate it. If you like, if you like the channel, you want to support me, hook your brother up with some coffee. The Cash App is is it's in the description and in the links below. I really do appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, you about to lose I will your leave job. You guys. You, you about easy, to lose your one. job. Peace. Get this dance. You about to lose your job because you are detaining me for nothing. You about to lose your job. You about to lose your job. Get this